ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to First Reflections, where I react to stuff and try to be entertaining at the same time. So, Owl House has broken me. Just thought I'd start off with that. <laughs> Probably should have watched that second. But hey, after that gut punch of emotions, I guess it's better to start with something hopefully a little more lighthearted. And what do you know, it's another episode where we're gonna get introduced to a king. So this whole evening is just gonna be a festival of kings, it seems. First we got our uh, old Emperor Bellhop in the uh, Owl House episodes, and now we got King Andreas in Amphibia. So let's see how interesting this is going to be. Uh, two episodes today, here are the descriptions. First one is Scavenger Hunt. And Sprig and Marcy receive a mysterious message from the King of Newtopia that sends them on a puzzle-solving mission. So, if the little blurb at the end of Marcy and the Gates is any indication, it seems like King Andreas is a little more cold and calculated than I first thought he was going to be, um, because we saw him putting, like, Anne and Marcy on a board, almost like pawns in a chess game, literally pawns in his scheme, probably. So, I'm guessing he wants to try and test their knowledge to see if they're worthy to be part of his plan, to see if they're actually going to help him finish his plan. I'm not going to say what I think his plan is going to be, because, again, that's part of the theory that I'm working on, but either way, we're gonna have to see exactly what this is going to be and hey this will let us see more of Newtopia I want to see more of what this city is like a lot of people were saying it kind of gave them Atlantis vibes I was saying like kind of bossing say vibes it's, it, it's a very interesting looking city very interesting design and it'll let us meet more of the new people it'll be pretty interesting and then the second one is the planters check in and finally meets with King Andreas to try and enlist his help in getting back home so this is the episode we're actually gonna meet the king we're actually gonna see what he's like he's voiced by Keith David which is kind of mixed messages. I mean, he plays good guys like he played Goliath and Gargoyles, and sometimes he plays bad guys like he's the Shadow Man from Princess and the Frog. I don't know what to expect from this guy. I'm thinking from that little blurb at Marcy the Gates is going to be evil, but who knows? Maybe even just being judgmental over one little clip. Who knows? We're going to have to see. So, so yeah, hopefully both of these episodes will spread a little wide on exactly who this king is and what makes him tick and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm hoping for a good time. Let's, let's get a little levity in here after what just happened with Owl House. So, all right, let's do these two episodes in three, two, one, go. Best beetle burgers in all of Yee, burgers. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, eating beetles. Ah, <laughs> 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 cute. You can get free gifts. Gifts. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Roll number two thousand. If it's free, it's for me. Just as smart as she is. Oh, they're going to be competing against each other? Okay. You're not a dum-dum. Oh. <laughs> well, more or less. <laughs> Again, and being brave. I'm telling you. Like, she keeps saying that she feels dumb around Marcy, but the whole thing is, don't measure intelligence just based on mental knowledge. Intelligence can be other things, too, like how you climb a tree that easily. <laughs> hey, Doris. Any idea what this Hello, Doris. Do with the <laughs> hey, hope that wasn't an endangered species. <laughs> That's an interesting... Hey, most people just get a toy in their Happy Meal. I think I'd be interested in a suit of armor. Hey! Nice statue, Mars. Uh, I mean, I've heard of worse ideas. Oh, all her old friends are gonna help her now! Yee! I have trouble looking people in the eye sometimes. Ah, shy baby, shy baby. The planters. Does is that at the bottom of every nacho box? I, I, I'm sure whoever else bought those nachos are probably really confused. Crocodiles love nachos. Who would have thought? Okay, so that was scavenger hunt. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cute. So, yeah, we got just a, a little chill Newtopia episode with just Anne and Marcy kind of hanging out and having a good time. Uh, we got to see that Anne is a little bit jealous of Marcy because, you know, she's so intelligent. She improved Newtopia and everything with the sewer systems and the bridges, being able to make connections and all those kinds of things, you know. But I like how at the end they also showed Anne's positive things, like just how well she's able to get along with people, how social she is. And also in other ways, like how brave she is and stuff like that. Like that, you know, they showed 
Anne's positive traits too. And, and it's not like Anne hates Marcy or anything or is so jealous to the point where like she gets mad at her or anything like that. That would have been kind of forced. No, it's just, it's just simple, a little bit of jealousy. You know, she thinks that Marcy is good, but she didn't really realize her own good qualities. So, and at the end, they all made up and they had a little hug and Anne even managed to finish the last piece of the puzzle, which is awesome. So yeah, this was just a chill, nice, fun little episode. And I said what I meant before. Intelligence is not simply based on book smarts. It can be based on other kinds of things too. You know, everybody says intelligence is, oh, oh, you're so book smart and you know all this kind of stuff. Oh man, the chemistry and all that kind of stuff. No, intelligence is not solely based on those things. You, you gotta, you gotta base it on what the person specializes in. Like you, you could not know certain like, oh, what's the date of this historical battle? Or, you know, what's the chemical formula for this? But, you know, maybe you're like a mechanic that knows how to fix a car. Or maybe you're a chef who knows how to prepare a certain food. That's that's still intelligence. You're still intelligent. You know, you know how to edit videos. You know how to make music. That's still intelligence. Intelligence, you gotta base intelligence on what the person is skilled at. You can't base it on the general definition of what intelligence is. Intelligence, everybody's intelligent in a certain way. So, and I'm glad that they focused on that. They showed what Anne was good at, and, you know, that, that was a really nice, heartwarming ending. I like the little side plot with Hop Hop getting the burgers and getting the free item. He had to get, like, I think a thousand meals just to get a free suit of armor. Yeah, yeah, kids would be happy to find that in their Happy Meal. You know, hey, hey, get eat 1,000 burgers, and you get a free uh, suit of armor, and uh, get 500 orders of fries. You get your free mace or whatever. I don't know. But either way, very cute episode. It was very happy, very nice. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what... Uh, King Andreas' deal is bring me the planters, huh? All right, very blunt. Let's uh, let's see what plans he has. I'm interested to see. Should I warn Michelle Cascot? I'll, I'll go back. Aw, you look awesome, Hop Hop. Don't be nervous. This is a big deal. Uh, don't make him nervous. Dang, no descendants. First of his name. Good for him. Whoa, big man. Oh, he's a hugger! Oh. Okay, I kind of like him already. I like him already. What's up? Uh, <laughs> How you doing? I'm the king. How you doing? What's up? <laughs> oh, I want to love this guy so much. I never actually noticed that. You never noticed that? Oh, gold card! I need a, a credit card that's got no limit and a hotel suite with a bandroom in it. Aw, Polly Happy in her big robe. Cute. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Now let me immediately fall asleep so you can take that card. Aw, hello. Is that Mabel? That's Mabel's voice, right? You and that. I just destroyed your shop. Charge it. Oh, you don't want to keep the Super Saiyan God hair, dude? <laughs> Two seconds later. I don't feel a thing. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, she is. Oh, boy. Please buy her something. Buy her something nice. Please. Whoa, whoa. Uh, possibly an emergency trampoline so she doesn't die. Ah, Sprig, Sprig, you boss. Good for you, dude. Yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, so that was the Planters check-in. Again, very adorable. <laughs> It was, it was kind of small scale. It was basically just the whole thing taking part in the hotel, so not a whole lot going on. But yeah, you give Sprig a golden credit card and he pretty much goes insane. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. Very cute. Uh, we actually got to meet the king. I want to say right now, I know the king is probably up to something. Probably something sinister, but mm, he's so... He's so cute! I can! He's so cute! Cute. I mean, with like the fist bumps and the hugging and like the joking around, mm, I want to love him, I do, but I don't know, I feel like he's up to something bad. All, all we know is that he said that the gems are gray and that he's going to be looking into more information and he'll come back to them when he has more info, which which I mean obviously means probably they're going to spend some time in Utopia, give him some time, he'll get back to them maybe like, I don't know, I don't want to say the end of the season, but maybe like sometime, sometime near the end and all that kind of stuff. But, I don't know, I like him, I really do! 
I know he's voiced by Keith David. I know he's probably a bad guy, but I like him. He's cute. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens with that. But anyway, the episode itself was fun. We got Mabel. I'm assuming that's Mabel's voice actress as the bellhop. And it's kind of funny. If that is Mabel, it's kind of ironic because Mabel usually plays the very, like, upbeat, happy, woohoo, you know, fun characters. But here she was kind of, like, she did something different. She was kind of, like, depressed and, like, you know, kind of down on life. She, she had a freaking ice cube sandwich. It's like, that's how freaking sad her life is and probably how broke she is at this point. But overall, she did a good job. Uh, it was, it was kind of fun seeing her and Sprig kind of dash for the credit card. In the end, she did give it up to him willingly, and Sprig also helped her out by saying that, you know, she's the best employee. She showed, she showed me the Ferris wheel. And, uh, you know, she showed it to me personally. You give her a raise because I know the king. I'm rich, so deal with it. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I like how the whole, the coffee thing came back. You know, that he was able to just, um, slow down time mode. A lot of shows do that. A lot of shows do the whole drink too much coffee or eat too much sugar and you go into slow down mode. A lot of shows do that. But it's always a, pretty fun to see. And he saved her life. He basically got her promoted. Uh, they had ice cream at the end. And, yeah, Sprig, Sprig had a fun little adventure. And I like that. A little Sprig solo episode. It's, it's fun. And yeah, uh, I guess we're going to see what's uh, next for the next few episodes. It should be pretty fun. I think we got like four more episodes. And then there's another four sometime in September, but I'm not 100% confirmed. So we're just going to see. Maybe there'll be a week break or something. And then, yeah, we'll see exactly what's going on. I'm loving Amphibia. I'm having a lot of fun. It's very cute. It's very fun. And yeah, we'll see what happens next week. Um, cross my fingers that the king is not that bad of a guy, because I kind of like him now, and I don't know if I should, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, that was fun, and I'll see you guys next week, and we will get back to more Amphibia, and hopefully have a good time. So yeah, see you later. Bye!